Hello student. Good morning to one and all. This is my topic. What bacteria are used in probiotics? Actually, the pictures shows that in the intestinal and the internal layer of our body is a lot of useful bacteria help to us. For example, Saccharomyces species, Lactobacillus, Bifidobacterium, etc. Okay, where it is present, how it comes, it is uh, naturally it's come at the same time as uh, we uh, eating the food material of uh, uh, yogurt, that means curd, etc. Okay, so now we discuss about bacteria are used in probiotics the most commonly used probiotic microorganisms grants to these pathogens are lactobacillus acidophilus species and another one is lactobacillus aramnosus then saccharomyces Bowler D, then Bifidobacterium, Bifidum, and finally Bacillus coagulans. So these are the bac bacteria species used in probiotics. That means our intestinal useful bacteria. Okay. Then Probiotics, foods for probiotics, then another one, probiotics for good bacteria. So how to it's converted, how to the natural food as well as uh, we prepared the uh, food material. So these are all the uh, useful probiotic bacteria. Number one is uh, uh, food material present in the asparagus. It is one of the useful one. Um, asparagus. Uh, then garlic as well as uh, wheat bran, flour. Then banana. So these are all the food for uh, probiotics. Okay. So good bacteria are present in yogurt. That means curd. Sour cream, when I am so long, so cheese, butter, um, kaffir, and uh, probiotic milk, also. Okay, these are all the good bacteria in our health. Okay, okay, now we uh, another topic is single cell protein. So, bacteria are good protein. Is rich in that at the same time the topic is a single cell protein so single cell proteins it's a highly valuable so marketly available easily available this is not there so single cell protein we are discussing now so actually the definition of the SCP single cell protein it refers to ed edible microorganisms, number one. The myomas are total protein extract from pure or max mixed cultures of algae, fungi, bacteria and also the yeast organisms. It is used as an ingredient or substitute for a protein rich food. Protein rich food. Dietary protein supplements is very useful to us. Single cell protein can be used as a protein supplement for human and also animals. Actually, food grade for humans and as well as animals. Okay, these are the definition of the SCP single cell protein. Now, actually, the small brief history about the SCP. The actually the 
SCP is uh, formed the in 1966 Carl and Wilson of MIT then in previously in 1781 the process of preparing highly concentrated forms of yeast were established a research is single cell protein technology started a century ago when max delber and his teams found a found out the high value of surplus brewers yeast as a feeding supplement of the animal earlier known as microbial protein and other one novel food that means mini food in this junction scp is a high nutritional value of for human as well as animal consumption the protein was a first commercial scp used to animal feed additive so these are all the uh, historical events okay so scp contains a fat carbohydrates vitamins nucleic acid minerals etc it is a rich in essential amino acids particularly in lysine and methionine okay then features of scp production actually the highly developed in modern days the large scale of product process for scp production shows integral interesting features including the wide variety of methodologies raw material and microorganisms that can be used for this purpose it is also high efficiency in substrate conversion high productivity derived from the fast growth rate of microbes independence of seasonal factors then sources of scp production where it is comes to and production the several microorganisms are used for the production of scp for example bacteria yeast fungi algae actinomycetes the microorganisms used for production of single cell protein these are the picture of the algae algae is a single cell grain algal species are used particularly in spirulina you know the algal species spirulina is a good for scp single cell protein so markedly easily available lot of uh, tablets like uh, powder format so lot of uh, uh, ngos production that and the train up the uh, spirulina production is highly useful for us particularly in animal and also human being okay these are the uh, algal species bacteria e coli e coli you know very well so e coli also the good bacteria for our health fungi is a penicillin mold that means yeast also okay sacral necessary is here so these are all the single cell useful microorganisms okay other substrates for single cell protein production the single cell protein can be provided high energy sources like methanol ethanol and methane and another major products of waste product like molasses sewage etc we are the collection of the waste material also the production is things agriculture and forest resources cellulose lignin etc the carbo carbon dioxide spirulina species so spirulina species most in the uh, one of the sources of the carbon dioxide are representing the spirulina species so scp production the research and development is a uh, good field for us 
microbiological aspect biochemical and uh, genetic oriented food technology also agriculture and finally the animal nutrition medicine etc these are all the field of research work in going into single cell protein production then the developing the single cell protein processes like new technological sources these are all the uh, ways to water treatment also production of alcohol in one technology uh, nutritional sciences so actually the modern world and the modern uh, advanced uh, techniques will applicable for a uh, single cell protein so suppose you going to after getting the degree the field is very very uh, fast moment in the future particularly in a single cell protein production our uh, one of the students will going to uh, train up and a training also taken down and that's a certificate of this given so the single cell protein the form is a methodology is very useful to your future uh, advancement so you have to uh, interest and you can go and uh, um, where it is present where uh, their uh, train up uh, institution so you can go and uh, watch it and uh, training it so future uh, prospectus so you can uh, more useful to your future okay so the finally uh, basic steps of scp production the basic steps are involved in the production of scp preparation cultivation preservation and separation actually the preparation is a, a suitable medium with the suitable carbon sources number one cultivation is a suitable strain for micro microorganisms and the prevention is a no contamination in this production time separation of biomass without and without production okay and the scp manufacturing protocol these are the scp manufacturing protocol scp uh, takes from following the steps microbial screening choice of raw material process of engineering optimization technology development economic consideration and the safety condition these are all the production of a scp okay so oh, uses of a scp we discuss on layer uh, scp uh, protein have application of animal nutritions fatting the cows poultry pig and uh, fish breeding also in foodstuffs are aroma vitamin and the emulsifying adds and they improve the nutritive value bad products so uh, ready to serve meals diet meals in the technical field as paper processing leather processing and the foam stabilizers okay these are all the basic and the useful single person protein conditions the finally the slides discuss about advantages of scp there are many advantages using the microorganisms particularly in scp production microbes grow at a faster rate one the quantity and the quality of production protein is a mm, compounds high plant and animals wide range of raw materials can be used the production process are easy simple and finally the advantages of scp microbes can be easily subjected to genetic modification the national botanical research institute nbri is a, in india one of the scp production in india and the central cftri that means the central food technological research institute and another the single cell protein is 
produced from algal culture and sewages. Some of the disadvantages are there in the SCP. High nucleic acid content many microbes that could be kidney stone formation or got poor digestibility, gastrointestinal problems, skin reaction. Some kind of SCP exhibited explanation to color and the flavors. Some yeast and fungus proteins tend in the difficult and the methionines. Contamination risk is there. So mycotoxins are also produced. So thank you student. We discussed elaborately single cell proteins. Okay. Thank you.